Hello everyone, Him Tutorial welcomes you to the new session. We have been doing chapter number 10 that is animal form and function and this animal form and function we are going to discuss the topic the skeletal system and under the skeletal system the subtopic which we will be able to learn up to the end of this session that is the total number of bones present in the human skeleton. So let's begin with the skeletal system. So human skeletal system mainly comprises two parts axial appendicular axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton the axial skeleton consists of skull neck region and your vertebral column and the appendicular skeleton consists of lateral parts of the body means your shoulder means pectoral girdle your hip region that is pelvic girdle and the four limbs and the hind limbs now let's discuss first the bones which are present in the axial skeleton axial skeleton has different parts first is skull in skull cranium is present auditory bones are present facial bones are present and hoid bone is present there in cranium eight bones are there auditory bones are six in number three in one ear and three in the second ear facial bones are 14 in number and hoid bone is one bone. tongue is attached to this bone which is called as the hoid bone now the second one is vertebral column. The vertebral column total has 33 vertebrae. Now the parts in which the vertebral column is divided cervical, thoracic, Lumbar, Sacral and Caudal. Cervical is the neck region. It is having with seven bones. Thoracic is your chest region. It is having 12 bones. Lumbar is the belly region. It comprises five bones. Sacral is the pelvic region, hip region. It comprises also five bones. And caudal is the tail region. It comprises four bones. Now in sacral region, the five bones fuse together and they form one in number. Okay, means five bones are fused together. So they are forming one bone. And in caudal region also, four bones uh, fuse together and they will form one bone. So next is your sternum. Sternum is also called as chest bone and it is one in number. And the last is ribs. So ribs are 12 pairs. So in totality 24 ribs are there. So if we look upon the number then Total skull has got 29 bones, vertebral column has got 26 bone, one bone is of sternum, chest bone and ribs are all together 24 in number. So if you go for the total then you will find that axial skeleton has got 80 bones in it. Now let's talk about appendicular skeleton. In appendicular skeleton there are two main parts first is girdles and second one is the limbs the girdles 
are two types pectoral and pelvic pectoral girdles are the shoulder region girdles two bones on one side two bones on one side total four bones and in case of pelvic three bones on one side fuse together to form one bone another three bones on the second side means the pelvic hip region three bones on one side fuse together to form one bone another three bones on the left region they fuse together to form one bone and this one and one when they join together they will form two bones so two bones of the pelvic region in case of limbs two types of limbs are there four limbs and hind limbs four limbs means your arms and hand your hind limbs means your legs and feet part so four limbs two four limbs so each in each limb that is having 30 bones so one arm has 30 another arm also has 30 so in totality 60 bones are there in four limbs and another in hind limbs in one hind limb 30 bones are there another hind limb again 30 bones are here so in totality the hind limbs also has got 60 bones so if you look upon then this 60 this this 60 4 and 2 they all will form 126 bones so appendicular skeleton has got 126 bones 80 bones of axial skeleton and 126 bones of appendicular skeleton when they combine together they form total number of bones and that is 206 so an adult human adult has got 206 bones in its body the number of bones may vary in infant because in infants newborn babies they have got more number of bones than the adult but as they grow up the bones fuse together and in totality if we look upon so 206 bones are present in the human skeleton system so let's recap very quickly what we have done today we have learned that the skeleton system is divided into two parts axial and the appendicular axial has 80 bones as four regions are there skull vertebral column sternum and ribs skull has got 29 bones vertebral column has 26 bones sternum has one bone and ribs has 24 bones or 24 ribs or you can say 12 pairs of ribs if we see the appendicular skeleton then in it has two parts girdles and limbs girdles pectoral has got four bones pelvic has got two bones means right hip region has got three bones those three fuse together to form one left hip region has got again three bones those three fuse together to form one so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and in case of limbs four limbs has got 30 bones in one limb 30 bone in second limb so 30 plus 30 gives you 60 bones hind limbs again one hind uh, uh, limb has got hind limb has got 30 bones second hind limb has got again 30 bone so 30 plus 30 is equal to 60 appendicular has 126 axial has 80 80 plus 126 gives you 206 bones so i hope you understood the topic very well so up to our next video keep watching keep learning thank you